I know you. Lucy's friend, Mr. Bosch. <gasps> well, what a memory. I remember everyone I meet. But now, you see, his, his name is Mr. Stanton. I was playing a little trick on Lucy. Um, how about if I uh, get us all something cold to drink? Excuse me. Sure. Yes. <clears throat> so, Serena, tell me, have you been studying your geography? I have to learn to read first. <laughs> what a smart little girl. Scott, you are one lucky man. Well, she's the most important thing in the world to me. Oh, she should be. If I had a little girl that precious, I'd never let her out of my sight. How about some um, iced tea here? I uh, had it left over from earlier. Good oh. idea. Cool everyone off. Why doesn't everybody just come and help themselves? Thank you, Lucy. Make a move. Make a sound. See Serena again. <gasps> Lots of water. Thank you. You're amazing. So I've been told. See you tomorrow, sweetheart. Ah, Mr. Scanlon. Top of the evening to you. Is she okay? She's fine. She just had a little too much to drink. I think I was there to give her a ride home, huh? Have a nice night. Mama, slower. Or speak English. Uh, wh what did he say? O okay, listen, you g give me his name and I'll take care of it. You sure that's what his name was? What? You mean it's true? Okay, l listen, I'll, I'll take care of it, okay? Don't worry about it. I, I love you and I'll call you tomorrow, okay? Okay, bye. What's wrong? My folks, they got a call from an immigration officer. Why? He said that their naturalization wasn't documented, that they're illegal, they're gonna be deported. Well, can they do that? Apparently, they are illegal. I just found out. Wait a minute. What did they say the officer's name was? He said his name was Rex Stanton. I knew it. I knew we'd find a way to go after you. Now, do you believe me? We have to do what he says. No. No. He picked on the wrong person this time. Nobody attacks my family and gets away with it. Would you care for a napkin? I thank you. On such a hot night, uh, you should really hit the spot. <laughs> Why don't you run up to bed and I'll come up and tuck you in a little while. Okie dokie. Okay. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. night. Doc, here you go. Thank you. Oh, she reminds me so much of Dominique at this age, scampering around serenity. I thought that Avery treated her like a princess. I don't imagine princesses just scampering about. And she was the most important thing in my brother's life. How did you feel about that? Oh, but uh, didn't bother me. I mean, after all, she was his child. I was merely his younger brother. Yeah, but you must have uh, You know, it. aren't you thinking this, that perhaps now that we found each other, we could uh, be a family, kind of get together every once in a while, you know, break toast, start some family traditions. What do you think? It'd be great, huh? Hell of an idea. idea. Yeah, it's a great idea. Maybe we could convince Danielle to join us. Oh, oh. yeah, it'd be, it'd be super. And, you know, um, Don, my assistant, now I have two assistants, Danielle and Don, um, do you think? Going, anyway, we could uh, start, like, uh, dinners and this caterer that Don recommends is wonderful. I've been dying to try them, get together. Well, I'll look forward to it. I, I think I've taken up more than enough of your time already. Uh, Scott, it was a pleasure meeting you again. Of course, your lovely daughter, Serena. Uh, uh, Dr. Collins, uh, Kevin, 
Kevin. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thanks and for Lucy, dropping by. Lucy, thank you again ever so much for everything. Well, <laughs> I'll, I'll show myself out. Uh, thank you. Uh, All right. Stop by Certainly. any old time there, Rector. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good evening. Well, should we go outside and hose ourselves off? Unfortunately, we don't have proof of anything yet. Serena didn't recognize him as the kidnapper. But he still could be the kidnapper. Wait a minute, guys. Maybe there's something. What? Just now, when he reached around to get his iced tea, I had this weird flash from him. Like he was the guy in the lab. You think he is the kidnapper? I, I don't know. Don't Scott, I don't know. I just got this feeling, you know? It, it, it's, it's this aura about him, you know? He gave me this strange sense, like a sinister atmosphere surrounds him. Didn't you get that? I wasn't sure about it, but now I hear it from you. I, that's good enough for me. Now, that reptile was in the same room with her. If we give him enough rope, he'll hang himself with it. I don't want to wait that long. Well, listen, you got to wait. Now, think about it. The three of us together can watch out for Serena, so you need to stay here. And the three of us can find a way to make old Uncle Rexy crash and burn. It was the three of us that got her back. If the three of us will keep her safe. Well, I'm going to keep Serena safe from him and his plans, no matter what it takes. I left two messages for you, Doctor. I'm sorry. This is a huge day for the interns. They need me. Well, that's what I like about you. Anybody else would be scrambling to save their own skin. More bad news? Yeah, I tried. Cooper's lawyers just won't budge unless they get a, an admission of responsibility from you. This lawsuit is going to court. Hey, dude. Good luck today. Thank you. Thank you. I, uh... You just getting off work? Yeah, I just dropped a major MI at the ER. And things just aren't the same there now that you're moving into surgery. Listen, I'm freaking out already. Don't freak me out anymore. No Julie? She'll be here. Uh, I hope so. She really tied one on last night. Julie. Don't ask. Well, I wouldn't sweat it. I saw Eve out jogging this morning. I'm sure they'll come in together. Well, luckily, I was here last night to give Julie a ride home. You're the one who let her get drunk. Frank, Frank. Pizza. What is this? Come on. Take it easy. One of these days, one of us is going to have the pleasure of wiping that stupid grin off his face. Yeah, well, let's get out of here. Come on. You guys ready to roll? Yeah, sure thing. Yeah. I saw Eve out jogging this morning. Eve? Our Eve doing some exercise? Really? It appears she wants to get the jump on us all. Yeah, she must be trying to change her luck. She really messed up on the first day of ER rotation. Well, you know, her heart is so big, she just had to help your father. Talk to yourself. Not you. Not today. <sighs> Go away now before you jinx me. Such a nice warm welcome. I feel right at home. I know why you're here. It's because Karen told you how important today was, right? What's today? My first day in surgery. And since you ruined my first day as an intern, you thought you'd be consistent and ruin this one, too. Well, you know what? I know what this is about. It's all a big plot to keep me out of the competition for the Quartermain Fellowship. You know, you really shouldn't have such paranoia. There's, there's people out there that can help you. Yeah, I'm not listening to you. I'm not listening to you. Ow. Should you really be eating like a squirrel? All right. A surgeon is calm. A surgeon displays grace under pressure at all times. Mm. And I'm really good with a scalpel, remember that. Really nice bear claw, give you a little more energy. State huh? your business and leave. <laughs> okay, I'll state my business. What do you know about uh, Jake's girlfriend, Danielle? The love goddess. What do you care about her? Well, it's just that Lucy hired her. I just want to make sure she's trustworthy. And since you seem to have an opinion on just about everything. She probably is. 
All right, are you leaving now? What do you mean, probably? Do you know her? No. It's kind of hard to have an intelligent conversation with the woman when she's hanging all over Jake. Like a cheap suit, huh? Well, thanks for your opinion. Would you like a lift to the hospital? From you? Yeah. <laughs> no way. Mm -mm. Okay. See you later. Oh, uh, wait, 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 wait. I was going to take the bus. The bus? Yes, well, I haven't met my millionaire yet. Keep looking. Uh, all right, it would be nice to arrive in a car. You may take me to the hospital. I am honored. Just hope I don't regret this. Dr. Burgess, how do you intend to handle this? What is there to handle? You can refuse to do what Cooper's lawyers are asking. And then what happens? Well, then we go to court. I should have taken myself off this case. That's what the rule book says. Do you know I never break a rule? I cross with the light in the middle of the night when there's no one around for miles. I don't throw a candy wrapper on the side of the street. And the one time that I react emotionally for just one second, bam, there goes everything that I've worked so hard for. Look. I like you. This is off the record. General Hospital is not as financially secure as it used to be. I mean, if it were, we would be standing behind you 100% to help Cooper and his lawyers to do their worst. But a suit like this, it, it can be very costly. And the hospital just has to consider the terms of whatever the settlement is. What are you saying? You have to find someone to look out for your interests. My own lawyer? Yes. For your own protection. Well, thank you for your honesty. Ellen, we believe in you still. Great. I have... Excuse me, I have something in my eye. Well, here we are. Sixth floor, ladies' hats, menswear. Surgical rotation, professional death. Hey, for you, maybe. This is where we separate the men from the boys. Oh, excuse me? Oh, I'm sorry, the women from the girls, or is that not PC either? The surgical resident usually get the quarter main fellowship. Hmm. Yeah, which we all know is more important than life itself. That's right, it is. Let's all quit pretending we're palsy-wowsy here. We all want it. From now on, it's every doctor for himself. And you know, I was going to get us all t-shirts that said all for one and one for all. Altruism, hopelessly dated. Hey, listen. I want to be a surgeon. So any of you able-bodied people get in my way, I'm running you down. <laughs> well. Well, Jake's the lucky one. He doesn't even want to be a surgeon. He's a research jock. Hello? Jake, is something wrong? Sorry. Where are you? Prenuptial jitters, you would know about that, right? Yeah, right. But Jake's not laughing. No, I'm not. He's not the only one. Julie? Julie? Oh, man, I was afraid of this. Julie, come on, wake up. Julie, you still alive? Come on, Julie, open those big brown eyes. Come on. Okay, Julie, let's go. Cold, stop yeah, it. it. Feels good, doesn't it? Now open those eyes. No, I want to sleep. I want to die. Now, you can die tomorrow when you're off duty. Come on, let's go. Okay, there we oh. go. Here, here, suck on a piece of ice. Oh, I'm going to be sick. No, you're not. Oh. You're going to be late. Oh, my head. You're hungover. You'll survive. Oh, who wants to do that? Julie, oh. come on, listen. You've worked so hard for this. You want this so much. Don't screw it up now. Uh. Julie Morris, code blue, room five, stat. Give one milligram epi IV push. Oh, that was a cruel trick. Oh. I haven't had to resuscitate a patient in weeks. You are quite a challenge. 
I can't do this. Oh, oh, I have surgical rounds today. I can't even think. All right, oh. you'll be fine. Let's go. Hey, what are you doing? Frank, Frank, put me down. 